So word on the street is that your show at website's pretty boring. Don't worry, I'm here to fix that. Here are five easy ways for you to level up your show at website using zero code and all built-in animations within show it. Let's get started. All right, first up is this sticky text scroll effect. This is a really fun way to kind of showcase some images or just fun elements on your website. And the best part of this is it takes less than five minutes to set up and it just adds a really cool, unique flair to your website. So first thing obviously is to go into your show it account and just go ahead and add a blank canvas. And from there, you're going to add your text. This can be anything you want. Maybe this is something about your business or a really bold call to action, whatever that may be. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead and add a canvas right below that one. And what you're gonna do is make sure that this canvas is set to transparent. So go ahead and click on that canvas, go to canvas background, and then you're gonna click on the transparent option. We're gonna extend this down just a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is add in all of your images that you want to be scrolling past. And any type of image will work for this you don't have to do a png for this but i just like the vibe of it and i think it's going to look cool with this animation but of course you can do whatever type of image you would like that fits the vibe of your page so like i said you want to make sure that this is set to transparent that's really important and then your top canvas needs to be on top on scroll so if you go right here to where it says sticky make sure that top on scroll is selected so let's go ahead and preview this and you'll see that once you start scrolling, all of your images will start layering over the text. Next up is a scrolling marquee, and this is a really easy way to add some subtle movement to your website without having to do code. First, add a rectangle. This is going to be the outline or the background for your scrolling marquee. Uh, keep in mind, you don't have to have a background for this, but I like to have it because it helps the text stand out a little bit more and we're gonna go ahead and change this to a different color. I personally like to add a border to mine to help it stand out, but again, this is personal preference, so you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now, what you're gonna do is add in a line of text and you're gonna go ahead and type out what you want your text to say. So I've got my text typed out. I'm gonna go ahead and resize this real quick. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And again, you can have this whatever size you would like. And I like to go ahead and add in a little emoji just to break up the text. But what we're gonna do is copy and paste this quite a few times because when you go to stretch this out, which I'll show in the next step, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have enough text to actually cover the entire width of the screen. So make sure that you have it copied and pasted quite a few times, but after you have that, you're gonna go over into your text styles settings, go to overflow, and then I just do the single line like so. And then what we're gonna do is stretch this out pretty wide. And then you're gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna do the size and position as well and make sure that that is stretched for the entire screen width. And then you're gonna go into your animations and this is where the magic happens. So go to your type, go to slide, and then depending on which direction you want your marquee to scroll, um, you would either choose left or right. I guess I'll start with right first and then you're gonna really up this time to, you can start with 100 and then you can go from there and see how fast it is. So let's go ahead and double check and see what this is looking like. Okay, so first off, I noticed that I need to fix a couple things. Make sure that your rectangle box is set to stretch the entire width of the screen. Make sure that locking is on. And the best part is that you can have multiple of these and you can change directions. So if you wanna have multiple of them stacked, like I'm about to do, that's a really fun way to do that. So all you do is just go back into the animation and just make sure that you have it switch to the opposite direction. And then when we go to preview it, you'll see that now we have two two scrolling marquees side by side going opposite direction. Next up, we're going to do a stacking canvas and there's quite a few ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you a full screen version and a more condensed version. So first let's start with the full screen. 
go ahead and start with a canvas and this can be used for quite a few different ways. I like to use them to display either services or you can do FAQs or the process of something. Really, you can use these for whatever you want on your website. Go ahead and add a rectangle and you're gonna go ahead and move this one up to the very top and make sure that that is stretched the entire width. And next you're going to add in your text. So depending on what you're using this, section four will determine what you want your text to say up here. I'm gonna have this be for services, but again, if you're using something like an FAQ section, you would maybe put the question up there. And then the body of the canvas can be whatever you want. It can be um, obviously the information that needs to be laid out. You can add images, you can add buttons, um, you can add whatever you like, but for the sake of this, I am going to leave it as is. All right, once you have your first canvas done, you're gonna go ahead and duplicate that canvas and go ahead and swap out your text for whatever you want this to be. I'm also just gonna change out this color real quick. So you have that rectangle set as your background. What you're gonna do is click on the canvas. You're gonna go to your offset and you're gonna adjust this. You may need to tweak this a little bit just to get it right, but you'll see that when I go to preview now that these both get stuck up at the top which ideally creates that stacking effect. So I'm gonna go in and just adjust this maybe up another 10. All right, and you can see right here that now that has created the offset enough to where those stack. So what I'm gonna do now is since I want three stacking canvases, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this one again and then go ahead and change this color. Keep in mind again that you're gonna to wanna to change out your text as well. So what I'm gonna do is click on that canvas again and adjust the offset. And like I said, you may have to adjust this quite a few times depending on the size of yours. And now you can see that you have a stacking canvas on scrolls. So with a similar style, you can also create a stacking canvas that is smaller and doesn't take up as much of the screen. And so what you're gonna do is start off by designing a little box or shape or whatever you want to have stacked. This one, for example, is going to be if you wanna highlight something like modules, or again, you can do FAQs, the process, whatever that may be for your website. So go ahead and duplicate that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that this is set to transparent, but do not add any other background to it. You're going to leave it just like that. And then after you do that, you're going to want to make sure that this is still set to top on scroll for both of those. So go ahead and hit preview. And then you'll notice that when you start scrolling, those canvases will stack. So you can do this for as many different canvases as you would like. I'll go ahead and add a few more. That way you can really get the full effect. All right, I've got my four canvases ready ready to go and now that when we go to preview it you will see as you scroll each one will stack accordingly now you can do the same exact process of doing the offset if you want to have each one stop about right there and then keep stacking so keep in mind you can mess around with the offset and make it how you want to but that is another fun way to add an engaging element onto your show it site to display your services or faqs or a process next up are a couple effects that maybe you already know how to do they're pretty basic and pretty simple but sometimes i feel like people overlook it because of that reason so first is just the simple hover to reveal another image like i said i like to use this to either showcase another image for a gallery or for a product to show a different angle um, but basically what you're going to do is just start off with your image. This can be placed anywhere with on your page. I'm just going to do this half screen effect. And then you're going to go ahead and just duplicate that one. Make sure it's the same size. And then you can swap out this image for another image. You're going to go to hover and then make sure that you select custom and then just lower the, that opacity. You can play around with this however you see fit. I'm just gonna do it to zero. And now when we go to preview this on the site, you'll see that as you scroll and your mouse goes over it, it will change to a different image. So you can play around with this. You can do quite a few different things. Uh, you can also do like a black and white image. And then when it reveals, it can be a colored image. Um, you can really do whatever you like. Now, if you wanna do a text reveal, that is pretty much the same exact process, but instead of having two different images, you're gonna go ahead and swap this to the original image of that and then go ahead and add in your text behind that top one 
And now when we go to preview this, you'll see that when you scroll over the image, your text will be revealed. All right, last but certainly not least is this image reveal on Hover. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this one. There is a way to do this with code, but again, if you don't want to code, this is a great workaround. So this is what it looks like. You would just hover over your galleries and it reveals an image. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And it's super easy, but keep in mind, you may need to adjust a few things here and there because it takes a little bit of tweaking. So let me go in and remove these. So what you're going to do is start off with your canvas and you're going to want to add in the text that you intend to have on that canvas. Now, the easiest way that I find to do this is to just take a screenshot of your canvas. So now that we're in Canva, go ahead and add in that screenshot that you took of your section. Now this is just a rough guide. So keep in mind, you may need to make a couple adjustments to really make it work, but go ahead and add that in and then go ahead and find the images that you want to add in. So I'm going to go ahead and add these and you're just going to align these to where pretty much you want your um, images to be when they are lined up. Now there's probably another way to do this, but this is just what I find to be the quickest. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate those images and I'm just going to do alternating. But again, you can also just do these like if you want them to pop up on top of the text like that or to the other side, wherever you want to do that, you can do that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and swap out these images. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And then what you're going to be left with is this little floating image. But I'm going to go ahead and just adjust these like this because the next step is to go ahead and export this as a transparent background. So go ahead and download that to your computer. Go ahead and open this up. And then what you're gonna do, this is the key, you have to crop this to be like so. And then go ahead and just crop that. You're gonna go back in to show it. Go ahead and upload that image. What you're gonna do is click on that, go to add to page, and then readjust that to where you want that image to be. Now, once that is up there, the key to this, to making it work is, first of all, you need to go to effects, lower this down to zero, and then you're gonna go to hover and then do another custom one and then make sure that the opacity is set to 100. So now when we go to preview this and we hover over, you'll see that that creates the image reveal. Now, the only caveat to this is you're gonna have to make sure that that image has a click action set to it and you won't be able to do any hover effects for the text below it. Um, so make sure that, you know, if you have a gallery that you're linking this to, you would set your click action to that page or the canvas or wherever you're sending them to. But you would repeat that process for all of the images. So I'll go ahead and do that, upload this one, and then do this, and then upload that one. And then you'll notice that once I go to preview that, we now have the image reveal on hover. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found that helpful. And now you have some cool ways to spice up your show it website without having to code. Now, if you do want to add some code to your show it websites, shameless plug, but I do have some code snippets in my shop below. I have some rotating image code snippets. I also have some marquee on scroll effects and some bouncing image effects. So definitely go check that out if you wanna add some code to your website. But if you found this video helpful, make sure that you thumbs up and leave a comment below of what you would like to see next. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon.